yesterday. Yesterday was one of those kind of days where the domino pieces fell, started falling before I really had a chance to get ahead of the game, I guess is the best way to put it. I filmed a little bit yesterday, but the few little snippets that I did get to film don't make sense because the rest of the day was such a complete... (laughs) it was not the best day and I am still processing it but I don't want to get into a lot of the details because I really I just don't want to deal with it again um and one of the one of the situations is going to be an ongoing one that I just don't have a lot of energy for, but is important and I have to deal with it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of omit that for now, but yesterday word wise, I was able to get a few words. I have not counted them yet, but it was probably, it was easy, easily, Easily my lowest word count day so far. I think I had less than 100 words. Um, But I will go through probably later this morning once I have a chance to sit down with my laptop and my uh, notebook and count the words I wrote. Um, uh, Don't sneeze, John. Don't sneeze. Um, So, but... While I, I spent a lot of yesterday thinking about my current process of handwriting and how it is just not really working for how on the go I am right now. I thought I would have more ability to sit down with my notebook with everything else going on. Whereas I'm finding that I, I want to voice dictate and I want to type for sprints when I'm just on the discord. Um, and I want to be able to do some other things and I'm finding that I'm just, I'm struggling with the handwriting. I I feel like the handwriting is going to be good for when I am on the, the airplane, um, our flight next week and our flight back. But for the moment (laughs) with everything else going on, handwriting is, I feel like dragging me down a little bit. Uh, I also am in a point of my story where it's the midpoint, but it's also a point of the book where I have actually drafted this, these scenes before with these characters. Um, and there's minor changes to this point, uh, to this plot and section of scenes, uh, compared to all the other scenes that I've had to rewrite or insert, uh, to make adjustments to the, to the other, with the other parts of the story that I have changed since the last draft. So I think what I want to do today is open up that draft on Scrivener on my MacBook and, um, kind of go through it and see if I can tweak it and get it into a Google document. Um, I'm not going to worry about transcribing the scenes before it that I hand wrote just yet. I want to say there's two or three scenes that I did, um, and see where I get after that. So, so, but that's kind of where I am right now. Just a little update. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday as well, um, where they did an echocardiogram, an ultrasound of my heart, um, just to, make sure that the ankylosing spondylitis had not affected the valves and 
blood flow in my heart. Um, I have been having some issues with my heart in the last few months, um, with, and with blood pressure and other symptoms, um, which led me to get a referral to a cardiologist. Um, and so there's other tests and stuff we're waiting to come back, um, to hear about, but the, the cardiologist was actually kind of, um, dismayed at the fact that I hadn't had any tests done on my heart when I was diagnosed with AS, um, which is why he, uh, wanted me to get the echocardiogram. So, uh, but thankfully that came back, um, completely normal, uh, yesterday. So he was very happy to see that, uh, so far the AS has not affected my heart. Um, so we will just wait and hear back from other, um, about the other tests. So, uh, but yeah, that was my yesterday. (laughs) Um, just trying to figure out story stuff, trying to deal with other nonsense people, moderation issues, um, trying to deal, dealing with health stuff. And then, um, but I, I was feeling pretty bad, like bummed by yesterday afternoon. And I seriously thought about not going to the dojo and not training, but I'm so glad I did because that just, it made me feel better. And it made me realize like how much I just really enjoy my dojo family and our, my friends there and how much I have to learn from them. And even just the stuff that is seemingly unconnected when you learn a martial art, you can take these little nuggets of information and, and wisdom from the dojo and apply it to everyday life. And I just, it was just one of those amazing moments where I heard exactly what I needed to hear in the dojo to help me through the rough day I was having. So, so much appreciation. And I love, I love the martial arts. Um, I, so I hope, I don't know. I hope my body and my health will continue to allow me to practice um, and work on that and train. So I am going to go on and get on with my day. I hope your Wednesday, or no, I hope your Tuesday was a lot better than mine. But from what I'm hearing is an off day across the board for a lot of people. So, but I'm off. I'm going to get on with my day like I said, and I will hopefully be able to film some things at some point today. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Peace, love, and happy writing, y'all.